How can I help you? I was just checking out these artifacts. They tell me you're the expert. Ah, uh, you could say that. They're beautiful. Where is this one from? The Bobo Ashanti tribe, present day Ghana, 19th century. For real? And what about this one? That one's from the Edo people of Benin, 16th century. Now, tell me about this one. Also from Benin, 7th century. <clears throat> Fula tribe, I believe. Nah. I beg your pardon. It was taken by British soldiers in Benin, but it's from Wakanda, and it's made out of vibranium. guys welcome to boxing blog center the home of nigerian african boxing and please if you're new to the channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon click it and so i'm dropping new banger a new exclusive video will definitely be notified the on to the bronze bomber water made a very huge declaration today of revelation, I must say. While in the past, you know, of course, but let's let me go way back to 2017 when he posted on his um, Twitter account that he's a Nigerian guy, he's a Nigerian boy. He posted his DNA test result. When I saw that, I was very surprised, you know, because it is not every time you get to see our brothers across the pond admit where they're from. So when what I did, I was really, really, you know, excited that water identify with Africa and he wants to know where it's from. He wants to go back to his root like a coons. Or the sellouts but let's say some of them who don't really know where they're from or don't care to know because they are trapped in a white man's world sad reality but it's the truth the only thing water changed that water came out today he said he's an endo man you know that's where i'm from the water will be a dog bataki oh yes it's easy then you hear <laughs> I love in Vietnamese. Let's hear from water and it will proceed. And this is going to be a very interesting topic. Because there are going to be some lessons, let's say some historical teachings as well as we go on. Let's take a look at the video. And then proceed. And we love you as a brother, and we love and respect you as a boxer, and we stand with you through thick and thin. Uh, but I wanted to ask you about the, the Africa trip. Uh, why did you go, and also what you learned? The Africa trip, I, I, I haven't did my Africa trip. The, the main, my main Africa trip that I want, we haven't done it yet. Okay. Um, the coronavirus got involved, and another one, uh, another situation. Uh, allowed us to not doing this main one. So uh, I got one that I want to do, that I'm going to be traveling. I'm going to do different tours. I think I'm going to hit like four cities out there and stuff. So, but I ain't done that one yet. And that's going to be the main one that I, that I want to do. But once I do it, you know, I come back on the show and uh, I tell you my, my whole experience about it. You know, going back to see see my tribe. You know, I'm on the Edu. My tribe is the Edu tribe. You know what I'm saying? The Nigerian region? Yes, yes. And, um, and I want to go back and learn a little bit more about my culture and, and, and different things as, as information unfolds with me and I obtain the knowledge. And I want to really see, you know, my culture 
you know, and go back to the ancestors and, and learn a lot, a lot of different things. You know, we, we, we all have uh, different things that we're connected to and that we may not even know nothing about, you know. And uh, I love just being able to go back and research my roots and uh, get deeply involved in there and, and see what my tribe, you know, my tribe, you know, even with the, with the Edu, with the Edu people, you know, they, they are warriors cold, stone cold warriors. We wear masks and we, we, we do a lot of royal, royalty things, you know what I'm saying? Have royal ceremonies and stuff like that. So it ain't, it ain't, it's not a coincidence that I wear a mask at my, you know, at my events and stuff like that. You know, it's just a paying uh, a tr uh, tribute to my ancestors and, and my tribe, you know what I mean? So shout out to all the Edu people out there, baby. <laughs> the king is coming home soon. Just gotta handle some beers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, you heard it from the Under Bronze Bomba Wada, aka the Asuru the <laughs> Second. Asuru was a warrior who fought the British imperialist in 1897. The Zim right here in this picture. And he did kick a lot of asses, a lot of British soldiers, military asses. One man was able to withstand the might of Britain, alongside with some other African soldiers who joined the British, you know, army, the British Imperial Army to destroy the Great Benin Kingdom. I like the fact that Water is admitting his roots and wants to connect with his roots you know um i will say about here to the underwater of course i've always known him to be a pan-africanist just that as a man as a as a as, as a as a as a as a person who was born and bred in nigeria i feel like water's pride you know was not what it's supposed to be but after listening to some of the things he had to say, especially regarding the treatment in America, the, you know, how the people, the original people in America, very not men in America, or the original people in America, are getting this weird against through and through. We see that. We, we saw that with George Floyd. And I sympathize with a lot of our brothers there. Is that I wish sometimes they can embrace their root. So when what I came out, I was Nigerian the first time. I was very, very uh, happy because I, I'm a Pan-African. Okay, I believe in the unity of Africa, and I don't believe in division. And uh, I have to say kudos to the Ontario for identifying with his roots. Hey, do boy, we are do pataki we him. And this reminds me of if you're Jagba. Because people have always compared Ajagba's power to the Hunter Waters. I said, well, Ajagba's got his, his power. Ajagba is a monster. Water is a monster as well. The right hand of the Hunter Water is not to be toyed with. Of course, I watched the press conference. Tyson Fury tends to be having the upper edge now. He, you know, he had talk water and his team and his trainer as well. Seems to be having the upper hand. But I don't believe you mean that uh, Deontay Water is going to come in with a different game plan. And I'm backing it to win. Not because he's Nigerian, but because our, or because, because the, uh, Tassi Fury played us. You know, he played us, he used us, he led us on. And yeah. So as I was saying regarding the you know, the Edoid uh, people. In the Edoid family, you've got lots of ethnic groups in it who now identify as different ethnic groups. You've got the Robos, the Sokos, you know, got the Edo, which I belong to, or Benin, you got the Yesakon, you got the Aura, Emai, Luleha, Esan, you know, Okbela North, Ibie, Ate, Ewan, Ikpeshi, Ibilo, Dagbala, 
aye gule somorika akuku okbe erua dege ma egene ekbe atisa these are all adoid people they are they are they they, they all have their ancestry to the benin to the ancient city of benin because i still remember the history of the robots how they migrated from benin empire at that time and formed a different dialect what's unique about nigeria is that nigeria is unique with so many tribes we are a family we are all connected in different ways from the yorubas the adoes or the benins to the robos to the ibos to the galas to the ibira to the nupe to the fulanis and houses of course the southern nigeria is more connected but in southern nigeria there were a lot of powerful kingdoms the benin empire being the most recognized of all and by the way benin city remains the oldest city in nigeria is the oldest city in nigeria and it's a city that, that goes way way back and looking at it right here you can see at least the list of oldest continuously inhabited cities in the globe africa and africa northern and the on of africa of course you got the Luzo, looking at ancient Egypt. Let's go to Sub Saharan Africa. Sub Saharan Africa, you see right here? Benin City, the kingdom of Benin, Nigeria. Then you have Ife, Ocean State. You have Zanzibar, Swahili Coast, Tanzania. You have the Wata Walata Ghana Empire, now present day Mauritania. You have the Sofala. Swahili coast in Mozambique, the Pate. So, like I told you, I know my history. And Benin City being the oldest city in Nigeria, that really certified everything. By the way, I have to say though, the reason why I have more respect for Deontay more than I did before is because now that I know that he is from the great Benin kingdom it means his forefathers his lineage are all warriors because believe you me the Oba of Benin the king of Benin Oba Tokwe, did not sell any of our people to the Europeans that is a fact so the people that were captured the warriors you know that were taken away from the territory of Benin. The old warriors. And just like the the, uh, the, the, the king uh, Oba of Urame, who was a Zaito Calabar. And then he died there. So I want to say thanks to each and every one of you. Keep supporting the channel. Shout out to the Antiwada for identifying with Africa, identifying with Nigeria, identifying with the Great Benin Kingdom, where I'm from, with pride as well. God bless you guys. God bless Africa. God bless Nigeria.